Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Panerai Luminor Marina, New York Boutique Limited Edition. This is the PAM 417, a special series of 150 pieces. You can see it and you can buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with accessories full photographs, and of course, complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is the classic so-called Betterini case, the original 44 millimeter stainless steel Panerai Luminor case that launched with the first civilian models in 1993. Now this is the case, and of course the crown guard, that launched a thousand form fans, and then some. And the watch wears easily on my 16 centimeter wrist because for the most part, it is a perfect cushion case. Now you can see, easily from this overhead profile shot that the watch is basically as tall as it is wide and the lugs are quite pared down so even though it does have a 53 millimeter lug to lug span the lugs are very short where they exit the flank of the case they quickly turn downward and then simply end so even if you have a smaller wrist perhaps even as small as 14 centimeters in circumference you're going to find that this oversized reference is a perfect match both aesthetically and from a security standpoint it feels like it's buckled down secure it's not moving now the watch is 14.5 millimeters thick but it's a thin 14.5 because first of all it does cradle into the wrist a little bit so it sits low and then it has a beautifully sloped conical bezel with a nicely domed sapphire atop, so you can actually slip this watch under some pretty tight formal cuffs. You might not be able to clear the absolute tightest of long sleeves, but for the most part, this watch is going to surprise in that respect. A pleasant surprise. Now it's paired with a Panerai Assolutamonte strap, beautifully rendered in minimally treated calfskin. Now this is historically accurate. Back during the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, uh, typically calfskin would be used on the Panerai combat dive watches issued to Italy and its allies. And the bottom line is that those would be calfskin without treatment, covered in wax. This one emulates that look minus the wax sealing. It also features a nice simulated acru patina contrasting stitch to maintain the theme of aging, the simulated look of a vintage watch, sort of a, lo a love letter to Panerai's historic dive watches. And you can see that it continues on the dial with the image of the SLC or Solora Alanta Corsa, the manned torpedo used by the Decima Flotilla commandos during World War II in the Italian Navy. Now that's also sometimes known as the pig dial. So if you've ever heard the expression Panerai pig dial, it means exactly this. The SLC was also known as the pig. Now the dial features the simulated radium look as well. Sometimes this is called simulated patina, sometimes it's called a dirty dial, but what it does is conveys the look of age without the functional compromises that come with a true vintage radium watch. Well, radium itself never burns out. It has a 1600 year half-life. It will fry the loom on older watches to the point that they no longer glow. This one uses a nice ecru colored super luminova material to create the vintage look without, again, the low and no light visibility compromises. It also features a nice use of black colored hands to maintain minimal contrast against the background of the dial. All you see are the loomed portions of the hands with the rest simply blending in. It doesn't mar the composition. From an art design standpoint, it's nicely done. The only standout from a visual perspective is the seconds hand, which because it's small, needs to be white for maximum contrast and maximum utility. Now it does feature a broad trapezoidal full polished pin buckle for easy adjustment on the fly. And it's worth noting that this particular model features the traditional Panerai screw fixed lugs, which is to say, the strap is held in by screws, and using the jeweler's tools that accompany the watch's accessory set, you can easily swap out the straps to rubber if you'd like to go in the water, or if you want to go a little bit more upscale, you can swap in gator. Now inside the case, you can see the Panerai OP2 sits beneath this beautiful engraving of the Statue of Liberty. This is the New York Boutique Limited Edition, and that's where I have to call out one distinction. Many of you may have heard of the infamous PAM 318 Brooklyn Bridge with the even more infamous caliber OP29 movement inside. This is not to be confused with that. The PAM 417 contains a caliber OP2 manual wind. It is a COSC certified chronometer, and unlike that infamous OP29, the OP2 
2 is completely personalized and custom finished by Panerai. So in addition to the chronometer certificate and the 56 hour power reserve, if you were to pull off this case back, you would find a movement that is fully finished and customized for the Panerai Mark, not like the old and infamous PAM 318 and its OP29. This is a completely different animal. I should also mention that being a manual wind caliber, the tactile experience of winding it is important and it's wonderful. Easy to wind, it's equipped with the classic Panerai device protecting the crown, crescent shaped and originally patented in the 1950s by Panerai. It's a practical alternative to the screw down crown mechanism, which is to say when the cam based locking lever is closed, you get 300 meters of water resistance. That's nearly a thousand feet. But when it's open and it's so easy to manipulate when your hands are sweaty, wet or gloved, you can quickly wind the watch, pull the crown and reset the time. And again, as soon as you lock the crown down, the watch has full all aspect, essentially impact protection, as well as the hermeticity of a true screw down crown. It really is the best of both worlds, easy to manipulate and tremendously functional. I'll also add that it's a design icon in the modern era. This is the Panerai Luminor Marina PM417 New York Boutique Limited Edition of 150. You can see it and you can purchase it on our website, watchyouwant.com.